Hi guys, Lisa here from awakenedyoga.ca. Today I'm going to take you through a short, maybe 20 minutes or so, um, beginner yoga sequence. We're going to start to put some breath and, together with our movements to create a bit of a warming flow. Um, all you'll need for this little class is your yoga mat and your body and a quiet space to practice in. So go grab those things and then come on back and we'll get started. So we'll begin this sequence, this class, in a comfortable seated position. So maybe move any fleshy bits from your sits bones so you can ground them down or find yourself sitting comfortably and tall. Let your hands rest on your lap and close your eyes. Take this first moment here to come into your body, to let go of your day, to let go of any worries and concerns, any judgment, or even any expectations. Just allowing yourself to come into this practice. And just take another moment here to scan your body starting right at the top of your head, just with your awareness moving down through your body, noticing any areas of tension or strain, or any areas that need a little extra attention, maybe an injury, something that just doesn't feel quite right. And we'll bring our attention to those areas so that we can be mindful of them as we move this afternoon or this evening, wherever you are. We'll then start to deepen our breath. So we'll take a nice full breath in through the nose, right down into your belly. Open your mouth and release that like you're trying to fog a mirror. Let's do that again. This time place your hands on your belly. So as you inhale, you can feel your belly expand. So nice deep breath in. Open your mouth and breathe out. This time we'll inhale again, filling the belly. As you exhale, keep your mouth closed, but see if you can make that same mirror fogging sound as you breathe out through your nose. Continue to breathe, inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Creating a little bit of internal heat right down into the belly with that breath. A few more nice deep breaths here. We're going to work this afternoon, or this video, uh, to keep that breath as we move. And that in and itself is a very challenging practice to master. So be kind to yourself and just remind yourself to breathe often. Beautiful. You can nice and gently open your eyes. And we'll make our way onto our hands and knees, coming onto our mat so that our Hands come right underneath our shoulders and our knees come underneath our hip bones. And drop your head, and lift your tailbone and let your belly drop down and then let it go. Just release that belly so we're not sucking anything in here. Press your hands actively into your mat. You might start to feel some openness across your chest. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, start to squeeze through your belly to press your spine to the sky and round your back like a cat. Let your head drop down. Pause here for a breath or two and really push into your mat. Good, inhale back up to cow, letting your head and tailbone lift, belly drops down. Exhale to cat. Let's do three more just like that with your own breath. Inhaling to lift, exhaling through that whole movement to round your spine. Two more. Good, last one here. Inhale to lift, exhale to round your back. And then come back into a neutral spine. 
gently step your feet behind your hands, <clears throat> however you need to get them there. And then soften your knees a lot. Press your feet actively into the mat and let your legs be really soft and a little bit bouncy. Let your upper body surrender and fold over your legs. And your fingertips might touch the mat and they might not. They might be on your legs and that's okay. With your knees soft, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, press your legs straight and start to roll yourself all the way up to stand, drawing in through the front low belly. And then through the center of your body, let your arms extend overhead. So we're coming into a mountain pose. Press your feet firmly into the mat and then find a little more length through your spine. Draw in your low belly. And just pause here and breathe. Feel your feet actively press down. Good. We'll take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Bring your fingertips way up onto your shins and then lengthen your spine. Draw your low belly in and see if you can draw the crown of your head as far forward as possible. Depending on hamstring tension, you may need to bend your knees a lot. That's okay. Keep your spine lengthening, low belly drawing in and out. Shoulders away from your ears. Take a nice deep breath in. Place your hands on the mat and step one foot back and then the other coming into our first downward facing dog. Here, we'll start by pedaling out our legs before we refine this pose. Just warming up through the hamstrings and the calves. Good, then we'll settle in here. Keep your knees soft, especially right at the beginning. And then we'll press our hands into the mat, but especially the pads of your fingers, like little gecko hands. And just breathe. Now, if this is too much for your wrists, you're welcome to come to your forearms here. It's a slightly different pose. It's called dolphin, but it takes the pressure off of your wrists. Good, from here, we'll come down to our knees and then sit back into a knee together child's pose. So this is more like an extended child's pose. Keep your arms reaching forward and let your head rest down. Beautiful. Let's work through our modified vinyasa here. So we'll keep our knees together. Keep our hips pushing back and hands reaching forward. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, start to roll yourself one vertebrae at a time, all the way forward. So you come into a knee down plank. You make a nice straight line from your shoulder all the way down to your knee, from the bones. This low belly is drawing in and up. We'll take a full breath in here. As you exhale, tuck your elbows into the side of your body and start to bend your arms, coming halfway, and then drop your pelvis and belly and chest to the mat. Uncurl your toes and press all 10 finger, toenails rather into the mat. Tuck your chin, take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your head and chest a few inches off of the mat. Keep your chin tucked and then lift your hands so they can hover, really lighting up the back side of your body. Gently release down. Press back to a child's pose. Good. We'll do that one more time nice and slow, and then we'll do it with our breath. So take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, roll forward to that nice knee down plank. Inhale. Exhale, elbows hug into the side of your body as you lower halfway and then all the way, pelvis, belly, chest to the mat. Let your forehead rest, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your head and chest a few inches off of the mat and then lift your hands if that feels good and release down. Press yourself back to child's pose. Good, we'll move that a little bit faster now, moving all those poses with our breath. Inhale, exhale, roll forward. 
Inhale here. Exhale, lower and down. Inhale on the mat. Exhale to lift. Inhale here. And exhale down. Inhale here. Exhale to child's pose. Good. Take your knees wide in this child's pose, big toes touching. Fold your arms and make a little pillow to rest your forehead. Hopefully by now you're feeling a little bit warmer, so we're going to move on. <clears throat> Take one more deep breath in here. Then come forward onto your hands and knees. Stack your hands under your shoulders again, knees under your wrists. At any time, if your wrists are to get really sore or tired, make fists and place your knuckles down so that you're really strong, but not putting any pressure on the wrists. And I think back there I said, <laughs> place your knees under your wrists. No, place your knees under your hips and your wrists under your shoulders. Let's step the right foot forward up to where our right hand is. You can keep your left toes curled under or press the top of your left foot down. Take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, draw your low belly in and up and roll up into a low lunge. Extend your arms overhead. Keep your feet and your legs, wherever you touch the ground, press them down and see if you can lengthen up from there. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, shift forward a little bit and bring your fist to hips. So when you shift forward, your hips are moving forward. Your knee moves forward a little. Inhale to lift back up and lengthen up. Exhale forward and down. Let's do three more like that. Inhale to lift. Exhale down. Good. Two more here. Nice work. Last one. Find that nice deep breath in and out. Good. And we'll come back into the center. Release both hands to the mat and step your knee back. We'll walk the knees back just a little and press into that child's pose so we can move through a vinyasa here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, roll forward, high plank, or low plank rather, knee down plank. Inhale and exhale, lower down, pausing halfway and then pelvis, belly, chest. Inhale on the mat. As you exhale, you can take that hovering cobra or if upward dog feels good in your body, press your arms completely straight. Pause here if you're an upward dog and make sure your arms, your shoulders are away from your ears so we're not dropping down, we're lengthening the spine. And then we'll all press back to child's pose. Come forward again to your hands and knees. Step your left foot forward this time. Inhale down here. As you exhale, push down into the mat and roll up through the front of your body, low belly drawing in and up to extend your arms overhead, coming into this nice low lunge. Again, press down into the mat. So everything touching the earth is really strong and active. <clears throat> we'll inhale here. As you exhale, push your hips forward, bring your fists to hips. Good, inhale to lift. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Just two more here. Good, last one. Beautiful, come back into center. Place your hands on the mat and step your knee back. Shift your knees back so you can come into that knee down plank. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, lower down, hovering halfway and then all the way to the mat. Inhale down here. Exhale to hovering cobra or upward dog. Inhale and then child's pose. Take your knees nice and wide, big toes touching. You can keep your arms extended and rest your forehead on the mat 
or fold your arms and make a pillow. Come back into your breath. Come back into your body. Good. Come on up onto your hands and knees. And we'll do one more like that with our knees down. So we'll step the left, uh, step your right foot forward. I'm just gonna turn this way. Step your right foot forward. And this time we'll let our left leg kind of turn so that the foot comes behind us a little bit. And then nice and slowly come up. So we're in this warrior stance with our knee down. From here, we'll extend our arms, but move them from the center of our body, kind of a little float out from the body. Have a look down at that front knee, which would be your right leg. Make sure you can see your big toe. Sometimes our knee likes to drop in, so make sure it's pushing open just enough so you can see your big toe. From here, we'll straighten that leg a little bit and reach both arms up, take a deep breath in, and exhale down. Inhale to lift, and exhale down. Let's do three more like that. Nice deep breaths in and out. In and out. Last one here. Big breath in and out. Beautiful, we'll pause here in this nice warrior two. If your arms need a rest anytime, bring your hands together in front of your heart. And just pause and breathe. Good, bring your hands to the mat. Step that knee back. Walk both knees back into that knee down plank and we'll move through a vinyasa. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, lower down slowly to the mat. Inhale. Exhale to cobra or upward dog. Nice deep breath in at the top. And child's pose. Come forward again onto your hands and knees. And this time step your left foot forward. We'll keep the right knee down and let it kind of pivot so that the foot comes behind us. Inhale here with your hands still on the mat. As you exhale, roll up and open, coming into a warrior two with the knee down. From here again, we'll let our arms unfurl from the center of our body. And just breathe and pause. Good. Straighten your front leg, so your left leg a little. Inhale, reach up, and exhale down. Inhale to lift and straighten. Exhale down. Three more here, really working on that breath. Finding the nice deep breath, exhaling down. Good, two more. Last one here. Good, pause. Again, remembering your hands can rest at heart center or they can stay extended, but find a little more length in your spine. And then gently bring your hands to the mat. So step that knee back and walk both knees back a little so we can do one more knee down vinyasa here. Take a nice deep breath in, drawing that low belly in and up. Exhale, lowering halfway hover and then all the way to the mat. Inhale here. Exhale to hovering cobra or upward dog. Deep breath in at the top. And this time we'll take a downward dog. So we'll lift our hips back up to the sky. Maybe pedal out your legs. And then pause, keep your knees a little bit soft. Find a little more length through your spine and really press into your hands. Good, take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, come to a seat. Great job so far. We'll extend our right foot out in front of us with the toes pointing straight up to the sky. Bring your left foot to your inner thigh. Inhale to reach your arms overhead. And as you exhale, fold forward, reaching only as far as you can go. 
If your hands come to your shins, perfect. If, if you can reach your toes, great. Wherever you are is perfect. Find a little bit of length in your spine as you inhale and see if when you exhale you can fold a little bit deeper. We'll do that a few times, inhaling to lengthen and exhaling to fold. Good, just finding the place where you feel a really good stretch in your calf or your hamstring, maybe even your back. Beautiful. Sit all the way up and keep your legs the way they are. Take your left hand, no, take your right hand rather, <laughs> onto your left knee. Bring your left hand behind you just as a tiny little kickstand, just on like claw fingers so we're not pressing into the palm. Find length in your spine, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, rotate that left shoulder open if you can. And you can even look over your left shoulder, creating a twist here. Now when you twist, see if you can avoid really pulling with your right hand. Just let your right hand kind of hook on your leg to help support you. But if you were to let go of your leg, you wouldn't spring back. We want to let this twist come from our own movement rather than torquing with our hands. And a little more length in your spine. Maybe twist open a little more if that feels good and come back into the center. Keep your legs exactly as they are. I'm just gonna turn to the side so you can see our next pose. So our right leg is still extended. Left foot is still into the inner thigh. Bring your left hand behind you, planting it firmly on the floor and point your right toes. Reach your right arm up and take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, push down into your hand your left knee and your right foot and lift your hips up nice and high. Reach your right arm back, helping to stretch through your chest and your armpit area. See if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. Take one more deep breath in and nice and gently release down. Beautiful. We'll set up for our seated tree on the left. Extend your left foot straight out in front of you. Inhale your arms up to the sky, and as you exhale, fold forward again, reaching as far as your body allows. Every inhale, find length. Every exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Do that a few times, finding a really good place for your body in this stretch. all the way up. Keep your legs as they are. We'll take our left hand now, place it on our right knee, and our right hand behind us onto the floor. Remember, just on claws. Inhale to lengthen your spine. As you exhale, twist open, but let the movement come from your chest and your rib cage, and your shoulders and even your neck. With every inhale, see if you can grow a little bit taller and every exhale, twist open a little bit more. Stay with that breath. Come back into the center. And we'll set up for our stargazer. So keep your legs as they are. Bring your right hand behind you on the floor, planting it firmly. Reach your left arm up to the sky. Point the toes of your left foot and inhale here. As you exhale, push down and lift your hips up nice and high, fully supported by the right shin and the left foot and your right hand. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Reach your left arm back behind you. Take a deep breath in and gently release down. Nice work. From here, we'll place both feet on the floor. Make sure you have enough room to lie down behind you. 
You can keep your hands clasped behind your thighs or extend them forward. Find length in your spine, inhale. As you exhale, slowly lower down onto your back. Once you're down, hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze, maybe rock a little from side to side. From here, we'll open our arms out to make goal posts or T if that's available. And take both knees to the right for a twist. Let them drop all the way to the floor. Let your feet rest. And you can look over your left shoulder if that feels good, but close your eyes. You're starting to come into the restful part of this little practice. Nice and gently bring your knees back to the center and hug them in again, little squeeze. Then open your arms out to the side, making the T or goal post, and take your knees to the left. Letting them drop all the way to the floor and rest. You can turn and look over your right shoulder, but close your eyes. Notice how great your body feels right now. Maybe you feel like you worked hard. Maybe this was your first experience with yoga. Be kind to yourself and know that every time you come back and every time you do any video, any class, you're going to get stronger and more flexible and everything gets a little bit easier. When it starts to get a little bit easier, you challenge yourself a little bit more. Good. Come back into the center. Hug your knees into your chest one more time. Give yourself a great big squeeze. Take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, release, and we'll take a little Shavasana here. So you can extend your legs all the way straight down your mat. Let your feet flop out, let your hips relax. Palms can face the sky. Shoulders relax. If this causes any kind of tension or discomfort on your lower back, bend your knees. Take your feet to the edges of your mat and let your knees drop into the center so you create a teepee. Still let your hands rest by your side. Close your eyes. Let your breath relax. Let your body become heavy. Extend your arms behind you overhead and stretch your entire body. Take a nice full breath in. Open your mouth and sigh it out. <sighs> Let's do that again. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. <sighs> With your eyes closed, bend your knees and roll to your right side and just pause there for a moment. One last opportunity for this practice to settle into your bones, into your muscles. Nice and gently press yourself to a comfortable seated position. 
your eyes closed and your hands together in front of your heart. May your life be filled with happiness, peace, and love. Namaste. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this short little sequence. Um, I'd love to hear from you. You can contact me. My email is right there on the screen. You can contact me and let me know. I hope you subscribe because I'm going to be bringing you more videos all the time. Take care. Bye.